Alrighty, Gimp 2.99.10 is here, and I am very late to the party. This video is basically just a summary of everything that you can find on the news page on Gimp.org. So, I'm just going to be quickly covering the big changes that have arrived, because a lot of changes have occurred, and a lot of them are not small changes. So, first off, linked layers has been removed. Links for layers are now obsolete with the arrival of multi-layer select in GIMP 2.99, and as such they have been removed. In its stead, the layer set feature has been added, which will allow for much greater versatility when working with layers and layer groups. This new feature, among other things, allows you to search for layers by name and create named groups of linked layers. I always told you that naming your layers was a good thing. The item lock has been redesigned. The lock buttons for layer position, contents, and alpha have been moved from the top of the layer and channel dockable to the space where the link layer icon used to be. And so right there you get a little pop-up menu that allows you to select which ones you want to use. And that way you can see which locks apply to which layers without having to select each layer individually. Enable Disable Brush Dynamics has been simplified greatly. Now instead of having to select the Dynamics Off option, you can just click a little checkbox to tick Brush Dynamics on or off. It's a whole lot simpler than it used to be. A new Welcome dialog screen has been added. After a fresh installation or an update, a Welcome screen will appear with the splash image, some short text, and some links to various documentation. A tab that contains the release notes is also right there. Now this is this won't pop up every single time you open GIMP like Blender splash screen, but it will kind of help new users and also help older users to keep up to date on which features are being updated. Official plugins have been improved. Of particular noteworthiness, the PSD plugin was improved. It now supports loading of 16 bit per channel CMYK images, new support for files in LAB color space, new support for loading 32 bit per channel images. When loading PSD images with clipping layers, extra layer groups will be added to the project. Doing this results in the same image as the PSD merged image, unless there are other PSD elements that aren't supported yet. Bleeding colors in PSD layers with clipping set to 1 has been fixed. GIMP's layer composite mode will be set to clip to backdrop which is the closest we can get to Photoshop's clipping. With this, the colors won't bleed anymore. JPEG XL support has been improved. Now bit depth is now selectable in JXL export. Import in 8-bit and 16-bit integer precision is now possible for lossless images. GIMP used to import all JXL images as 32-bit float precision images, but now you can import it as 8-bit and 16-bit integers. New, very fast export settings, Thunder and Lightning, with Lightning being faster than Thunder. The compression slider is now disabled for the lossless option in the JXL export. Screenshot, removed support for KDE and GNOME portals. Free desktop portal is now used on Linux unless Direct X11 code path is available. And on Windows, the include mouse pointer option has been added. And last but not least, the help browser and web page plugins have been deprecated. 
For team news, Enma and Liam Quinn have been given reporter access on the main source repository, and Andre Mikal, sorry if I said that wrong, has been given write access to the package repository for the stable and beta flatpack on Flathub. This is a huge release for GIMP 2.99 and is a fairly large step in moving towards the eventual release of GIMP 3 and really the last one, two patches for 2.99 haven't changed a whole ton but this is finally getting kind of to the root of changing over from 2.10 to 3.0 it's really striking at some core features that you would kind of expect from GIMP especially linked layers that those have been around since forever but now they are being deprecated and they have become outdated in the face of multi-layer select and I think this is a good thing it is going to keep GIMP um, more relevant in the future and it, I think it will also help newer users to learn the software a lot easier. Lots of changes in this update, a lot of good changes. If you want to support the developers, links will be down below in the description. Um, if you want to look at the news page itself, go ahead and do it. I left a lot of details out. This is just a cursory summary of the changes and it's nowhere near to completely detailing all the changes so definitely check that out it's a long read but well worth it if you care about the project so yeah that's all i have to say